Hello and welcome back fellow Mavericks. I have a story for you here. I think you guys will really appreciate this and like this. There's an entire Pokemon game made playable within Minecraft. So Minecraft's been known to host a number of games. You might instantly be saying, oh that's Pixelmon. This is old news proto. Old news proto, what are you doing? No, no, listen. A new Pokemon game released, Pokemon Cobalt and Amnethyst. And this is a interesting Pokemon game because it adds a brand new storyline, 136 new Pokemon, and experiences that you're familiar with, like battling, including a Pokedex, and of course, it's a long game, so it might take you 60 to 80 hours to finish. Now, because it's a Minecraft game, and it was built within the Minecraft engine, there's a few caveats and problems, but I'll get to that shortly. I'm gonna go ahead and show you a little bit of footage from this person's YouTube channel. Please, please, go over to his channel, tell him Pro sent you and download and try this out the video he provides is less than seven minutes long on how to download and install this if you have minecraft this will be a real refresher especially if you're bored of minecraft and you've moved on to other games i think you guys will really really enjoy this because it's an interesting uh take on how these pokemon roms have been coming out and getting dmca'd but i don't think nintendo can dmca this one because he doesn't have official pokemon assets even the font used for the words Pokemon is completely different. So it falls within that real, real gray area of DMCA charges. And I think that's really good. As I said before, there are some problems with this game. There are some glitches. There are some things that this person will warn you about in the video, like scrolling through text or closing the game during battles. You shouldn't do that stuff. Again, this just released and I'm sure it'll be patched up and updated and things will be fixed here and there. So so hopefully these things will be fixed, but just keep a notion in your mind that you shouldn't do certain things within the game, and you should be fine. I've seen people playing through it. I think it's an interesting game to try out, and I'll definitely be trying it out later, even though I have not yet tried it out. I'm doing a story on this because it doesn't have a lot of shares. It doesn't have a lot of press, and I would love to see this blow up like uh, the previous Pokemon ROMs that got DMCA'd, because I really, really, really don't think Nintendo can do much about this. Yeah, it's themed around Pokemon, but they didn't take any of Pokemon's assets. They used the Minecraft engine to do it, and they created a game within a game. So it's very curious to see if Minecraft could actually get a DMCA notice from Nintendo to say, hey, you're going to need to remove these servers. You're going to need to remove this download link when they send it over to the guy who created this. I, I think it would be very hard for them to do that. So yeah, check out this stuff. I thought it would be interesting to bring it to your attention, and hopefully you guys will enjoy this video. Please like and share this where you can. I'd really appreciate that. And I've been your host, Proto Mario, and I'm signing out. Please leave me a comment if you're going to download this and try it out, or if you're interested in it at all. Thanks for watching, and as always, good gaming, and God bless.